by Bernard Tui. Robert Neal of Geelong. Neal up high and a beautiful mark to Robert Neal. Back of John Kennedy of Hawthorne. Four goes down towards the half forward line. line to Dale Dixon of Melbourne. Dixon to, right up to the wing and a beautiful mark. Was it left half? Phil Cracker now? of North Melbourne. North into attack. Oh, and the top Cracker. Racing in the Kerry goal. Good, North Good Melbourne. Put back into play. Keith Gregg, North Melbourne. Oh, that's a beautiful mark to Keith Gregg. A mag clear and boot. David Glascott of Wide Carlton. What's that uh, half back on him? No. Trevor Barker, St Kilda. Great mark, Trevor Barker. Bernie Quinlan, Fitzroy. <laughs> Lee Carlson, Fitzroy. <laughs> Paul Ruse, Fitzroy. And Steve McPherson of Footscray. Barry Round of South Melbourne. Brian Taylor of Richmond. Dennis Carroll of South Melbourne. Tony Morwood of South Melbourne. And Michael Roach of Richmond. And the mark of the day, gentlemen. Well, Bernie Quinlan, uh, Sam would have a bit of a rig back after that knee when the fellow flew over the top of him. He, he would, uh, Lou. There were some very good marks there, like Neil's from Geelong, yes. the second mark he took. That's a natural. Uh, there's a lot of North Melbourne marks. And... Uh, uh, Barker's was a classic mark, but Morwood's was a beauty. What about you, Peter? Uh, Phil Cracker's one where he leant over the top and for a little guy, yeah. Grab. A very difficult mark, and a couple of those marks were a fine line between the shove out with the knee and whether it was actually paid a mark or not, too. Well, OK, a winner from uh, GMH to, uh, GMH mm -hmm. today for $100 is, is, uh, is Tony Moore, a great mark, and of course he receives the $100, as I said before. Tony Moore, our mark of the day. Here he is, got himself in a very nice position. The final margin.